Hello, it's Blue Orange 22 So this is just a quick follow-up uh, to my last video, sort of an accompanying video on male victims of domestic violence in the UK and how feminists are trying to legalize domestic violence against men in the UK, or at least in practice. I want to show some examples of cases of domestic violence against men, including murder, uh, with male partners uh, being killed by their wives or girlfriends. Because the feminist argument against including men in the law is that because domestic violence against men doesn't happen very much, and because it isn't very serious, that men don't really have to be protected. But I'm going to show you these cases to show you why that's just not true. First headline, Woman 73 who beat husband to death is cleared of murder. Now this is something that I'm not going to get into too much in this video. I'm going to do another video on this in a few days. But there's something else going on in the UK where women who kill men are often being released early from jail or not going to jail at all because of feminist lobbying and campaigning. But again, that I'm going to get into in a full length video in a few days. But note in a lot of these articles, which I've linked, how lenient the punishment was. Or sometimes, there was no punishment at all. So let's keep going. Wife guilty of murdering husbands. Woman jailed for killing boyfriends. Woman stabbed her boyfriend to death. Woman stabbed her boyfriend to death. Different story. Man stabbed to death by girlfriends. Mom who stabbed boyfriend in face avoids jail. How can you avoid jail for something like that? Stabbing someone in the face. Imagine if the genders were reversed. Woman who stabbed her boyfriend to death after argument is jailed, but she only got a five-year sentence for murder. Look at that. She didn't just stab him and wound him or injure him. She killed him and only got five years? Snapchat queen guilty of boyfriend killing. Murder conviction for woman who stabbed a boyfriend in heart is unsafe, Court of Appeal told. This is one that feminists are trying to get set free from prison, even though she killed him. Woman who stabbed a boyfriend in hand told police, isolation is getting to me. Woman stabbed on and off boyfriend after accusing him of cheating on her. Woman stabbed boyfriend 11 times who bled to death. And woman is arrested after man stabbed at flat. So this obviously happens all the time. Men get murdered in domestic violence all the time. Not all of those cases were examples of murder, but they were all examples of serious assault. And as you saw, a lot of them were examples of murder. So yeah, when feminists say that men don't have to be protected by domestic violence laws because domestic violence against men doesn't happen very much, and isn't very serious, and men don't really get hurt, I'm pretty sure they're wrong. And here's a final thought to leave you with. What about gay men? How would this apply to men in a same-sex relationship? If the law is gendered and only women can be recognized as victims, doesn't that discriminate against gay men? Doesn't that leave out men in a same-sex relationship?